Hey everyone, welcome to a bonus episode of the Auto Riff. Uh, this was actually going to be split into two parts because uh, Matt and I recorded this a while ago. It was about video games and racing and and video games. Uh, it they got pretty lengthy, so uh, this is going to be the first half. This is uh, it's top twenty five uh, racing games uh, according to an IGN list. Uh, it this this episode is going to be twenty five through eleven, and then the next one will be ten through one. Uh, I just want to kind of give you a heads up because it's kind of just going to cut out out of nowhere. And I just wanted you to be uh, prepared for that. Okay. Uh, so enjoy if you're into video games. If not, uh, the regularly scheduled one will be out next Sunday. Number 32 will be out next Sunday. Awesome. Thank you very much. So were you super jealous of my picture of the uh, Twister the other day? I miss Twisters so much. Yeah, that's why I sent it to you. I was, as soon as I opened it, I was like, you know what? Matt needs to see this. <laughs> <laughs> I need to remind him that he's still a stupid American. <laughs> right. Ha ha. You don't have Twisters. <laughs> ha ha. You and your no health care and your shitty <laughs> no Twister life. <laughs> So welcome back to the auto riff in case you've ever, uh, if, if you've never been on here, this is how Matt and I like to start them. Oh, wow. You're recording. This. I'm, I'm recording. Yep. You're welcome. <laughs> so on today's yeah. episode, we found a list on IGN.com of the 25 best racing games of all time. And we're going to go through that list. Yes. Uh, and this is a variation of, of this. <laughs> yeah, of what we tried to record before, before my son uh, corrupted the recording uh, by turning <laughs> off the computer. Well, thank you for having me back. Oh, I always... absolutely. I, I like bringing you on here to rag about how I still have twisters and you don't. Oh, you bitch. KFC, <laughs> we're still looking for that sponsorship uh, for the yeah. <laughs> Twister Road Trip. <laughs> the fact that you guys don't have here in KF, uh, in KFC. No, you don't have them in KFC here in America, yeah. and you're tearing this friendship apart. Look what you're doing. Look what, yeah. look what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> so on number 25 is a game I've never heard of. I don't know if maybe you have or not. It's called Rock and Roll Racing. It was came out in 1993 on the NES. I have... Oh, I have... I might have had it. I'm Does looking it at a picture like, of it. Uh, 70s and 80s, uh, like music and allusions to like the 80s, 70s and 80s rock bands and stuff. Uh, is it, there there is a pl so there appears to be a couple aliens playing rock music, and then an, a human with a mask playing rock music. And I'll put all this on the video portion, uh, the screenshots. But then there's so there's a car in the background that is shooting a laser, and I'm going to tell you right now, for a game from 1993, that car looks just like the new Camaro. Um, look, Are they going to be like the Simpsons and predict everything? I'm looking I, up the game picture to see if I've... Uh... Oh, no, it's not the game I'm thinking. Oh. Well, maybe it... No, it's not the game I was thinking of. I had to, I had to like look at six different pictures because I'm slow. At no, this. I, I, I've never heard of it. I'm sure it's something uh, to play. Yeah, but... Wait, no, now I'm looking at screenshots and it looks really familiar. Okay, well, I mean, it's very possible. Maybe. I was six, so I mean, this was right. something I would have yeah. been. Uh, at number 24 is a game I'm playing right now, and not right now as I'm recording, but like in future and, and present tense, uh, is Wreckfest. On, I'm playing it on Xbox Series S, the new one. Uh, I downloaded yeah. it, but it is a great game. Uh, as far as you get to crash a bunch of people, and William, uh, sorry, uh, Matt is losing it right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, what's funny is my middle name is actually William as yes, well. Yes, that's uh, why I was like, oh, I kind of got half right. Yeah, I was like, I don't think you've ever called me by my first and or middle name at the same time. I've never pissed you off that. No, I've definitely pissed you off that much. <clears throat> but you just haven't called. Me that. <laughs> I've never, um, never, never done that. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, Wreckfest uh, plays like a demolition derby where uh, there are demolition derby rounds and then there are also uh, just like racing, but 
the kind of purpose of it is to hit people out of the way and that's why i kind of like it it's kind of a departure from all the other racing games where i me personally i try to race clean even though uh matt will disagree with me when i race him uh in general though as an adult i have tried to race people clean not as a teenager whatsoever oh. yeah it's a difference oh. yeah there's a different so, when did adulthood start clint tell me 30 was it after age two? oh okay i see oh the... 30-ish wow. you guys hear you hear that sound it's the sound of goalposts moving away <laughs> uh, number 23 <laughs> is a game i it's there's no screenshot but it sounds familiar it, Wave Race 64. It came out in 1996 on Nintendo 64. Yes. I absolutely played that. I That's feel on like Jet I had too. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, you know where you played it? it? It was one of the Walmart demo games. Yeah, that must be where I played it then. Because I didn't it have a 64. That, I played Dolphin and, the, and Mario 64 were like the games that kind of rotated at the Walmart in Fort Myers where we where you and I would have actually shopped at yeah. the same time. Which actually we didn't even know each other, but we. And Toys then, R Us. But... Toys R Us was big on uh, demo games back then. Oh, yeah. I'm sad. I miss Toys R Us. Uh, for all the folks out there, uh, Canada still has Toys R Us. I swear. Yeah. Clint. <laughs> so, uh, they did. To... I think they bankrupted, so but they uh, they're still in business here. Like uh, in the town we lived in before, where we are now, because there's nothing in the town we're at now. Uh, they still have a Toys R Us. So, number 22, a game I've never heard of, is called Hard Driven, with apostrophe, came out in 1989. Uh, um, I, it doesn't even tell me what... It said at one point there was a Commodore 64 version, if that tells you how old it is. Um, uh, no. It looks kind of, Well... Oh, okay. I looked at the NES screenshot of it, and that looks very familiar. I'm sure one of our neighbors must have had it, because I did not own that game, but I, I've seen that. Man, a lot of those games are just terrible. Yes. Uh, but you know what? They paved the way. So yes, here they we paved are. the way, exactly. Number 21 is Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition from 2006. I yeah. Did you have that game? No, no. Uh, I I had heard of it. I know of it. It was more so. This was I would say, not tuner crowd, but like, uh, what's the what crowd would you put that would have watched Pimp My Ride? Oh, this game. Yes. Yeah. Very I, Pimp My Ride ish. Like the really big wheels, and nothing against that. Like I again, I support all yeah, versions of. It's car just enthusiasm it's, it's just the aesthetic yeah it's just the it's aesthetic just not my it. thing oh i love this game i played this game i know i played this with my friend michael all right okay in the screenshot i'm looking I... at there's a rather large fella in front of what looks to be a modded supra like 90 supra oh. number 20 is colin mcrae rally from 1998 uh, i was aware of this game and I've played the, uh, like, Dirt, which was uh, kind of the successor to Colin McRae right, Rally. Uh, but I never played that one in particular. So I did I not have the opinion of it. I do not recognize this. Uh, number 19 is Trials HD from 2009. I Trials HD. Part... I keep having to look these things up. I've never heard of this game either. It's oh, it's Trials Bike. Is this even a car game? IGN. What is? Oh, oh I, I did. Okay, in all fairness, I put best racing games. I didn't say best car racing games, which is fine. Uh, I it's think a, that's. Good. It's a Trials there... Bike game. Like, do you I... know what a Trials Bike is? It's like the, those little dirt bikes, basically. They have no seat, and you're supposed to stand. People kind of hop them onto rocks and stuff. You got to look them up, man. They're awesome. T R I A L S bike. I'm looking at it. Yeah. And oh man, I yeah, I've seen those bikes. I thought they were a, a, like a modded mongoose. Do you no. remember the mongoose? Yeah, bikes? yeah. So no, no, they're like... actually they're they're for realsies. All right. 
<laughs> Number Excellent. 18, we have F1 2020, uh, which I have available to play on Xbox Game Pass, but I have not played because I'm not a huge... Oh, like, oh. I like open wheel racing, but I don't know enough about it. And I feel like it's a whole different... I did not play this game. No. I, it's a fairly new one. Uh no, I haven't played. I've played F1 games. They're just, I don't know, they're the the hand like I having grown up with stock car racing type games. Uh the F1 is very uh you got to be like on your mark every single time. There's no forgiveness. You're on your mark or you're crashing. Uh that... number 17, another game I've never heard of. Mashed. Wow. Mashed from 2005. I'm having to look all these up on my phone as we go, and I, know, I don't know nearly as many of these as I thought. Okay, I'm looking at a a screenshot of it. There's a Ford uh, Ford GT knockoff. I mean, there. this looks it looks pretty standard. It definitely looks like kind of the standard of what 2005 video game racing looked like. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, I just I've never heard of it we did this episode so clint was sick when we recorded the initial episode that got corrupted so i came up with the idea of like let's pull out some video games to like a top 10 list just to kind of talk about him because he didn't he felt like crap and i was like well let me try to help yeah and then um william also helped yes <laughs> william helps it, the, it not come to light yeah we didn't know until like what two days ago so, yeah, I want like I I I edited the next the episode that's coming out this week, and then I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and start editing the uh, the one I did with Matt, and then I was like, I opened and it was like this video has been corrupted. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> uh, so so, but the fun thing we pulled this list, so it still ended up being video games, which we're both fans of. Yeah, and so we get to talk about it, but I didn't look, I didn't see the list prior, and now I'm like, oh man, all these are so. I didn't read the list prior. In all honesty, I looked it up in the bathroom yeah. at work, and uh, I said we should do this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read into it though. <laughs> I think I hit Wreckfest, and I was like, oh, I know that game, but then I that was it. I'm like, okay, I got a list. Uh, so number sixteen <laughs> is Ridge Racer from 1993. That one I'm aware of, uh, but I've never played. This sounds Super Nintendo era. I don't recognize. Yeah. Do you, it reminds me of the. It was, you know, like oh, I know what it is. Okay. That used to be. You know, you would go to the arcade. You could sit in the cars and play. Yes. This. That's the style. This reminds me. It is. is. It? Yes. Ridge oh. Racer was originally yes, like one that went against Daytona USA. Oh, I love this. Okay, yeah. so maybe I was aware of it. Man. Ooh, number fifteen is one I have personally played many hours of and i wish i still was i racing it started in 2008 uh it's still going today it's a subscription based racing service uh and it uh the graphics are really good the driving dynamics are spot on we're talking like actual race car drivers use i racing to practice oh. tr real tracks is this like is this like the one that like you play it on like simulators and stuff yes and... yeah uh number 14 this says from 1986. Outrun. This is, well, before I was born. From Sega. And it said it went against Pole Position. Which I remember Pole Position. I played that. Uh, I'm looking at a screenshot of Outrun. And... He said it, 1986. 1986. And it looks every bit 1986. I can't wait. I'm looking it up now. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. <laughs> every oh, single bit. I saw that. I know exactly what this I'm, is. I'm not sure, and I can't... Uh, I played this. I've absolutely you? played this. It, I don't think... I didn't own it, but I remember playing this game. Um, I think Family Friends must have had it. Because okay. remember, all the 80s and early 90s games always had like a re weirdly drawn like guy and like his equally pretty like girlfriend. Yeah. All like featured front and center on like every uh, poster. So I just but, sent you the screenshot, and can you tell me, is that a uh, stripper falling out with a thong on? <laughs> oh, God, it's really funny. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. is. Right? 
There are some pixelated cheeks. <laughs> Those are that's yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Uh, so it's what, a lovely color, though. I yeah, mean, no, absolutely. Like it, it says the caption is though it wasn't that big on seatbelts, so you must have been able to fly out of the car, and I assume it looks kind of like you're in Vegas and you must be running like to the Bunny Ranch out there, and that's just one of your uh, bunnies. At as you guys are flipping your Ferrari Testarossa. From 1986. Yeah. <laughs> Number 13 is Test Drive Unlimited from 2006. I. Oh, I already like. So the, the screenshot is a 2006 Pontiac GTO. Which was one of Clint's absolutely favorite yes. cars. Very much so. Uh, and <laughs> as for that, though, I've never played. I've heard of the game, but I never played it. I have only seen it. I have not played it. And it looks to be that they're running from a cop in their GTO. Uh, number 12 is Pole Position from 1982, which we already talked about, which is one of, to me, one of the original racing games. Uh, if you remember, like, you just kind of went down a track and, then, like, all you ever got was tire squealing as you went. Yes. Yeah, like one side or the other. Yes. Oh, it was misery. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I, yeah. Number 11. Everybody. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, no, everybody had absolutely in that time frame you you had pole position. Uh number eleven is Wipeout with a capital E. I don't know if they meant yes. that. Played it. Okay. Uh Wipeout 2097. So uh this was a futuristic uh so, oh, just like F Zero, it says. So uh we oh well no. Clint, they didn't listen to your corrupted file. We talked about in the last time I talked about uh games I played and uh we talked about F-Zero, and that was one of the first games I really remember making an impact on me, uh, to where me and my friends used to draw the uh, cars, like the hover cars. So it was really cool. Thanks again for listening to the Auto Riff. Did you know that for the low, low price of nothing a day, you can share this show with your friends and help the show grow? That's right. It'll cost you nothing. That's so much cheaper than any amount of money. Help the show out by liking and subscribing on YouTube and leaving a review for the podcast. Thank you again and keep the rubber side down.